Mindfulness can be helpful for those of us working in inclusive schools, supporting individuals with diverse abilities. Dr. Amy Saltzman defines mindfulness as paying attention here and now with kindness and curiosity, then choosing your behavior. Schools are busy places with many demands on students, educators, and support staff. As a result, we can find ourselves rushing through the days almost on survival mode as we try to meet as many needs as possible. Research has shown that mindfulness can help educators decrease stress and increase job satisfaction. In inclusive classrooms, mindfulness may help us in more specific ways as well. Mindfulness can help us notice opportunities for inclusion. Meet Tony. He's 13. He uses a wheelchair and is nonverbal. Alex supports Tony at school. She has been practicing mindfulness during her workday. Last month, she was trying to get Tony to engage with his calendar routine. She noticed that instead of paying attention to the calendar, Tony's eyes were drifting out the window to a class that was playing soccer. She saw this as an opportunity for Tony to interact more with his peers. Alex took Tony out to watch the rest of the game. He loved it. And after that, Alex arranged for Tony to keep score during the gym class and help with the equipment. Now students say hello to Tony when they see him in the hall. Before, they would have walked right on by. Mindfulness can help us notice stressors in the classroom environment. Cheryl loves spending time in the sensory bin. It is one of her favorite times of the day. But today, instead of calming Cheryl, her time in the sensory bin seems to cause her distress. She is even shouting loudly at random times. Marianne is Cheryl's teacher. She offers Cheryl a choice of another activity. Cheryl insists she wants to stay with the bin. Marianne decides to take a breath and bring her awareness with curiosity to the here and now of the classroom. She notices that just before Cheryl shouts, someone in the next classroom coughs. It is very faint, but Marianne wonders if this is the cause of Cheryl's distress. Marianne moves the bin to the other side of the classroom and offers Cheryl some noise-canceling headphones. Cheryl calms almost immediately and finishes her time with the sensory bin. Mindfulness can help us notice subtle forms of communication. In her book, One Without the Other, Shelley Moore shares an example of how being mindful can help us notice nonverbal communication. Her student, Daniel, was sitting under the table, flipping repeatedly through the pages of his dictionary. Daniel was deaf and blind, with just enough vision to see a bit from one eye. He also had Down syndrome and autism. She was the new teacher and wanted to connect with all her students. She was told Daniel liked math, so she grabbed a set of flashcards and crawled under the table. In truth, she didn't believe he would be able to do the math equations. She spent days flipping through the flashcards, talking to herself about math. All along, Daniel was flipping through his dictionary pages, completely ignoring her. Then one day, she placed yet another flashcard down in front of Daniel. Smack! Daniel's arm flew into her face. Shelley wasn't sure how to respond. Should she reprimand him? Call the principal? Or maybe celebrate that he initiated any contact at all? Then, an even more unexpected thing happened. As she turned back towards Daniel, she noticed something that she hadn't noticed until that moment. The flashcard read 20 plus 40, and Daniel was pointing to the page number 60 in the dictionary. Daniel had been answering the questions all along. In response to each flashcard, he answered with a dictionary page number. This one small, mindful moment revealed that he was communicating and processing cognitively. Shelley says her biggest lesson from this was a realization that we need to presume competence for all our students. Shelley Moore reminds us to look for strength and ability in all students. Mindfulness can help. 
Mindfulness can increase our ability to be present, so we notice students' strengths, competencies, needs, and stressors. Mindfulness can help us respond to students with kindness and curiosity. Mindfulness can help us bring a calm presence into our classrooms. Thanks for watching. You can check out more of our videos at northstarpass.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for your support. northstarpass.com